Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh, one second. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Let's have a story. Thank you for joining me today, you guys, here at the warehouse. Let's get started. It's definitely been a beautiful day out there. How have you guys been? Yeah? Fantastic. And I'm Adam Steele, and welcome back to the Warehouse YouTube. So today on our segment, we're gonna talk about the belt squat I built. So this was one of my first machines we ever did here at the Warehouse. And I decided that when we were building the gym during COVID that I wanted one and I wanted to build one. Kind of a funny story because being that this was the first machine I ever did, I uh, actually was like trying to come up with ideas and concepts on how to make it better. So I wanted to start with like a base model. And so it was really funny. A lot of people might've heard or know I went actually to TG and PB, the old worlds, and I took my measuring tape in the evening and said hi to Brad, Rick at the counter, and I went upstairs to the outside where they had their Wanning strength model set up, and I literally measured every inch of that thing and took photos with my phone, and people probably thought I was crazy. And then I went and bought $500 worth of steel at the time, when steel could, you could buy that much steel for 500 bucks, <laughs> and uh, proceeded to cut and fabricate this bad boy from from scratch. I made the horns a little longer. I made a true uh, weight balance, uh, heavier flanges, as well as bearings with the um, all, all uh, solid round stock bar. Put my logo on it and then, uh, yeah, went to town. Just wanted to make it a little bit more dynamic. Did uh, a larger platform here. And then I also put on heavy uh, floorboard by an inch and a quarter, inch and eighth actually OSB flooring. And then I weld, uh, I didn't weld it, I fastened it to the actual welded frame and then treated it and then I put down free weight floor. So the horse mat and then I did a sequence of evenly spaced fasteners to give it a very obvious kind of like stance to where you could put, place your feet in, in kind of like a guide on the platforms and also non-slip. Unlike a lot of the models have like the diamond plates which seem really silly because they're more for looks, I guess, and style than actual functionality when this is truly a non-slip surface that's comfortable and also anti-fatigue when you know people can actually slip and break their ass and have on those diamond plates because they're pretty slippery. So that's a thing that I wanted to change as well. And then obviously some of the heavy construction that went into it, um, some of my own touches, I reinforced the corners with full tube gussets and things like that. So it's just a much heavier, stronger, machine it functions a little bit more balanced and also unlike titan and some other ones you see in the gyms when you load weight it doesn't buckle or twist it's not a janky piece of shit so that's pretty cool <laughs> i like it for that and so yeah after i finished all this and you can kind of see like some of how it started from cutting you can see in the video right here like cutting it on the table welding it um using lasers on my leveled table for manufacturing and making sure it was perfectly balanced and things like that to actually testing it multiple times. Um, we weight tested it, belt tested it, everything, and then uh, went for improvements. And you can see some of that from our old location in the video. Actually, So this thing's about a year and a half old now. And yeah, about a year and four months, year and a half. And so it's pretty cool. A lot of people have enjoyed it. Have you seen probably on our YouTube before and introducing the war machines, it's a pretty awesome, pretty awesome machine. I'm not gonna lie, it was one of my favorites. I even broke the first belt this one's balanced, uh, so it's probably the heaviest type and one of the smoothest operating in the market, I guarantee it. And definitely come try it if you haven't. And then also with the platforms and the size, it's allowed it to be a little more functional. And then the, the length of the horn here that sticks out um, allows for cleaner and better range of motion for like bent over rows, stiff legs. With the platform, you can do sumo, you can do wide stiff and things like that. And so it's really great as well as having that non-slip free weight floor pads that you can actually do lunges and step ups with the belt squat. Not to mention because I did the cloud belt that I designed and fabricated myself actually in the previous location. So this is the only one of its kind. It's the only belt squat belt that you'll find that's built and designed like this with multiple hooks so you can connect it whether you're a full size or a medium sized person or have a small waist as well as having reinforced 
um, lining with marine vinyl, um, heavy nylon strapping and rigging, and then all stitched together. And so it's incredibly comfortable. We use um, heavy uh, upholstery foam on the interior um, with some cross span nylon bracing. So kind of like almost like a waist trainer or a back uh, brace for lifting. You know, it's very supported. I also, uh, we decided to stitch the lining with also padding too. So when it goes down between your legs, you know, with heavier weight, you're not getting that cutting or grinding like you do on like the spud belts and some of the other garbage that's out there. Um, they worked, uh, it's, a great, it's a great brand, um, but it's antiquated and it's half-assed. Um, if people wanted, people actually were bodybuilders and engineering and they wanted to sell a, a quality product, they would design something a little better. And these are going into production as we speak through California Upholstery is partnering with us so I can get more of these models out as well as the belts I designed for the ATG so we could get those on the shelves and out to the uh, other gyms and friends and people who want to have something of quality that can help increase the dynamic of your training and also safety and feeling more comfortable. So like with this, you can comfortably move more weight. It's more balanced. It's also easier. You don't get the friction and the burning. And that's one of the things that we learned is that you can definitely do like, you can step back and do lunges and step ups with this using the belt and it's a lot safer on your lumbar spine and pelvis. Anyway, I appreciate you guys hanging out in the neighborhood today. Anyway, if, if you guys, I appreciate uh, watching the video and if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll put some links to our gym as well as our, the, the other YouTube videos you can see right here in the end screen. And then don't forget to check out our new apparel line, the Warhouse Apparel that was built for you. So let us know because you know if you were born to fucking send it, you might wanna check it out. Thank you. Have a good night.